Hey Terraria fans, welcome back to another speed build video. Guys, as you've seen from the recent videos I've been releasing with the new update of Terraria 1.4.4, well, I've been releasing some videos that are not specifically related to building. Now, of course, that makes sense because there's so much new content to explore. And actually, this video, as you've probably seen by the thumbnail, has to do with one of those items which I covered in what I believe to be the best items that have been released in this new update. And that is, of course, the quadcopter. So with the quadcopter, there are a couple of different uses, but one of the ones that I thought would be really interesting is to make a custom racetrack. Now guys, I'm boldly going to claim without actually having checked all of the internet, because that's basically impossible, that this is in fact a world first. Okay, premature celebration aside, the point is that it is a custom racetrack. It's not even that big of a racetrack, in my opinion. I think you could add so many additional layers to this, but I thought it'd be really cool to have, and I would love to actually have a bunch of people play on it and try to race on the map. So it's definitely something I'd like to add on to later, but for now, I think it'd be fun to have a few people try it out and see who wins. So guys, with that in mind, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna first show you the build, and then stay tuned until the end, because I'm actually gonna race through the entire track so you can see what it looks like. I'm not actually that good at it yet but you get a pretty good idea of what you
All right, guys, so there you go. There is the quad track finished. I really actually like how this turned out. I think there's some areas that, of course, could use a little bit more work, but I do think the combination of the obstacles, having some of those teal pressure plates so that you have to touch them with a projectile, which your quadcopter is a projectile, technically. But anyways, you have to touch those, and those are little obstacles you have to go through. It changes the dynamic of the race, and again, it looks pretty good. But with all that said, like I mentioned at the beginning of this video, guys, we're going to hit the track and see what we can do. All right, guys, so even though you can see that I've actually built this track, I'm not the best at racing on it. But as consolation, I'll simply take the title as the builder of the world's first quad racetrack. It's fine. And with that, guys, we're done. So thank you so much for watching until the end of this video. And as always, guys, thumbs if you liked it, subs if you loved it. We will see you in the next one.